Earlier this year, I made a speeder from one 5 first set, but now I'm involved in a contest where I'm required to make a speeder using two 5 first sets. Pretty wild, right? Anyways, what I came up with is actually my coolest build yet for the new 501st Battle Pack set. And if you agree with that statement, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. So I call this speeder the Rapid Support Platform. These curved slopes came in really handy for rounding things off at the front, and on either side of them I made some small blasters. They can rotate outwards, but I should mention you do need the backpack pieces from two of the heavy troopers to attach these cannons. Now in between those blasters are more blasters, well, blaster storage for the two minifigs that can sit in the front part of the speeder. They're protected by some sloped armor directly in front of them, and they can sit side by side, one driver and one gunner. I like to put the two heavy troopers that are missing their backpacks here, because if they're controlling the speeder, then they probably don't really need the backpacks anyway. Now speaking of controlling the speeder, there is lots to control on the back half. For example, one of the main weapon systems is this set of rocket pods. They can rotate outwards as well as upwards. I really like how these turned out, I think it was a really good use of these yellow pieces. Now underneath you'll find the engine and repulsor fins that make the vehicle hover and move. Of course, that's not all though. Moving back up, there's a dual cannon that can actually raise up or down, which is more of a heavy anti-armor or anti-aircraft blaster. Now even though there's no studs at the back of this cannon, you can actually set a minifigure there to operate it. And last but not least, there's two launcher bricks attached to the sides. I wasn't going to have these on here originally, but they were the only leftover parts so I decided to add them in. Overall, I'm really happy with how this turned out. Compared to my patrol speeder and the space monster that I made from one 501st battle pack, this one feels way more special to me. Like I said, this is for a contest between myself and three other alternate builders, and you guys will be able to vote for your favorite speeder build next week on the poll on my community tab. By the way, congrats to LEGOMAN360 for winning round one of the contest with his mini V-Wing fighter build. Anyways, if you want to make this alternate build for yourself, there's a link to PDF instructions on my Patreon in the description right now. Otherwise, I'll have the video version of the instructions posted here on YouTube on March 10th. Make sure you check out the speeders from the other builders as they come out, and also keep an eye out for a video on Dorian Bricktron's channel showing all the builds in one place. Anyways, that's all I have for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.